All right, what's going on guys? Try back again here to bring you another video. This one's going to be doing my weekly video predictions for what I think is going to happen in next week's episode of Fear of the Walking Dead. This is for Season 3, Episode 4. It's called 100. And spoiler warning, if you guys are not caught up for Fear of the Walking Dead, which is up to the end of episode 3, which I did a review for earlier. If you guys have not checked out the review for Tio Tawaki, it is in the channel right now. A pretty decent episode. Thought it was, uh, you know, uh, what I mostly expected after such a crazy double premiere, which I loved. Fantastic. Um, so Fear of the Walking Dead, staying strong, I want to say, with the return of, spoiler warning, Daniel. Really cool. Um happy to see this one and this one you know i, I kind of figured this is what we would see we've heard that the majority of the episode is in spanish um according to ruben blades it looks like not 100 percent of it's going to be because at least strand is in there talking in english <laughs> right so uh we'll have to see how that goes but it looks to me like they've kind of cut the modern stuff with strand and daniel with uh a flashback sequence a flashback episode which is uh, most similar uh, most recently to uh here's not here with morgan in the walking dead tv series Series. Uh, now we're getting to see kind of a, a time skip uh, flashback episode with Daniel and just what happened to him after the uh, breakdown of the uh, compound, Celia's compound, at the mid-season finale there of season two. If you guys don't remember, um, Daniel basically... Um, you know, he was there, and uh, you've got kind of the explosion, everything that happened, and it looked like he was killed in the explosion. We kind of found out, you know, the afterwards that uh, that he'd be back and that, uh, you know, he wasn't killed there, so uh, he must have gotten out somehow. Uh, I would like to see how that whole sequence played out from his perspective from his point of view and just what happened and everything and it uh, looks like with this episode we're going to at least get to see a part of what he's been through uh, in between that time because our regular group has been through quite a bit you know they've been through a few different locations uh, they've been you know split up and everything you know Lu uh, Nick's met Louisiana in the meantime you've had the death of Travis in the meantime you just had a lot of things going on a lot of things happening the hotel and everything that happened in and around there with the season two finale so there's been all kinds of crazy stuff going on and it'll be cool to see Daniel kind of uh, you know uh, reintegrate with the group I'm thinking at some point during this episode he's going to help um, Strand escape uh, it seems like Strand says something that upsets him because we've got two clips for this one we've got a sneak peek and then we've got a promo from AMC so I'll put the links for both of those in the description sneak peek you've got uh, Daniel giving Strand water which we've kind of already seen and uh, asking him if, if Ophelia is alive because of course you know that's what he's going to want to know is only um surviving family member at this point his daughter Ophelia of course he wants to know if she's alive Strand tells him that uh, they fled the compound and that most likely she is uh, you know and he says base and he kind of paints the picture like she definitely is and that get me out of here and I'll take you to her she's waiting for you uh, so then Daniel just stares at him like this so either he knows the Strand is full of shit or he, he's trying to like I that's the interpretation I take of it is is that he's trying to read him so he's like watching his face you know like, very carefully uh, because Daniel's really good at uh, you know his bullshit detective off the charts <laughs> if you end up hooking up with Ophelia watch out right uh, so you know uh, dad is uh, dad's serious right so um, you know he's like reading him and it looks to me like he realizes that he's lying and then maybe maybe gets mad at him afterwards um, and then we can see from the promo, you've got um, a zombie seeing Daniel, and he's kind of like running, and he's just filthy. He's got like blood splatter, and it looks like like tar and just crap everywhere. It looks like uh, he looks like hell. Yeah, looks awful. Uh, so he's filthy, and he's running from the uh, the zombie. And then you've got Strand saying, "Get me out of here!" And then Daniel says, "You will rot here." So Strand must have said something he didn't he didn't like, or um, maybe like like we said that he thinks uh, Strand is lying. Uh, then Daniel, or then he says, Daniel, I saved your life. You owe me. Um, so we'll see. I mean, I do think that Daniel will help Strand escape. I do think he will, but I think it'll be at the right time. And I think right now he's uh, he doesn't want to let anything on. And also he doesn't, he just kind of, Daniel's that type of character where he really keeps things to himself. He's really smart. He's really cunning. And he doesn't often let people know. He doesn't show his hand. You know, he's, he's pretty good at, uh, you know, keeping things. And then when the time is right, going for it when, when it is. So I'm thinking he will probably spring Strand maybe near the end of this episode after we see some flashback sequences about what happened to Daniel throughout, which looks good. looks really good uh, based on the environment shots and all the zombies. Um, 
Next, we see someone ramming down a door with a truck, a white truck. You've got uh, Daniel, who's uh, stabbing someone with a fork. <laughs> you know, so our survivors in fear are really good with the utensils. First, you got the spoon. Now, you got a fork, which is cool. They like elbows and stuff, uh, which is pretty sweet. Then you've got a bunch of zombie kills with a gnarly zombie. It looks really crazy. Um, and someone riding a bike, which it kind of looks silly to me because you got like this stuff on. He's riding like a, I don't know what it is. What kind of bike? Like a tricycle or something? <laughs> it's like a zombie apocalypse. Low rider bike in a zombie apocalypse so that's pretty funny and uh, I am looking forward to getting to see just what happened with Daniel because after us having Travis being killed off in the premiere you know it's really weird at this point to see okay Daniel's back in the show Travis is dead you know who would have predicted that at the season 2 mid season finale that, hey you know here's what's going to happen Daniel's going to leave for a while then Travis is going to be killed and Dan's going to come back uh, I do think we need someone like Daniel there though and uh, even though he's kind of I would say maybe an unlikely survivor based on his age and things like that and also what we've seen happen to him so far that we thought he was dead already um you know it's cool to see him back we kind of need that now and i think we need strand to meet with the other group at some point this season because strand and daniel because really like the group just the three of them and i felt this in episode three it didn't feel like there was enough there it didn't feel like there was enough substance in the group there with just the three of them and uh, they they gave some more time to the new you know the new community members of this uh this uh, Rocha ranch um you know in order to make it fit i suppose for episode three but yeah if we don't see you know more concentration on strand and daniel and have them kind of reintegrate with the group then it's going to feel kind of uh, misplaced for me it's going to feel off without having a character like travis there uh the description reads a mysterious character searches for a purpose and soon becomes tied to the struggle over a key resource in the uh, apocalypse so i'm thinking that's water we know dante uh, has a good amount of water it sounds like and uh, somehow you know daniel must get wrapped up in this involved with this uh, maybe needing water himself and going there himself not sure uh, but we'll have to see how you know the whole thing went it's going to be cool to just get filled in know all the details of uh, what happened during that gap and uh, you know to see where daniel's at right now will be really cool i hope that at this point he stays in the show permanently and if if he can't do it, if Ruben Blades can't do it due to whatever other obligations he has career-wise, I hope they either kill him off or they keep him. You know, I don't really like, um, care, like, doing it once is okay, but to have him kind of disappear all the time and then eventually come back in and then disappear, I don't know. Um, I think personally it would be cool to see him, you know, stay with the group maybe permanently or at least for a while. So we'll see what happens and whether or not Daniel will get reunited with Ophelia this season. I think he will probably maybe close to the uh, either mid-season finale or near the finale. And he should help uh, Strand escape here maybe in this episode or the next. It looks like it's going to be a pretty good episode, especially from kind of some of the uh, action shots with the zombies and that at the end of this uh, promo. It looks really good. Um... So I'm excited for it and uh, really uh, intrigued by the season of fear and just to see you know how this is going to go without having Travis in the series now that he's been killed off still. Um, so if you guys uh, like this video, as usual, please thumb it up below. Leave a comment below. Let me know what you guys think about that one. And send me all your questions for the Q&As, and I'll have one for you guys uh, tomorrow, most likely. Check out the review if you missed it earlier, and that'll be it for this one, guys. I'll see you again soon for the first Q&A. Send me those questions. As always, it's Trev, and I'm saying peace. Later, guys. See you soon. You better subscribe.